Immediately after your shoulder surgery, you will experience some of the same functional limitations that existed prior to your surgery, so it's important to plan accordingly. How long your recovery will take is dependent upon the nature of your shoulder surgery, your general physical condition, and your goals. Before your surgery, organize your daily routine so things are accessible. You will not be able to drive for some time, so consider stocking up on food and other necessary items. If you live alone, make arrangements for someone to help during your initial recovery. Common post-operative reactions include low-grade fever of 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit for up to a week after surgery, a small amount of blood or fluid leaking from the surgical site, bruising along the shoulder, upper arm, chest, or elbow, swelling of the shoulder and arm, mild numbness at surgical site for six to nine months. These are all normal reactions after surgery. You should call your physician when any of the following reactions occur. A fever of 101.5 degrees or higher persists a few days after surgery, progressively increasing pain, excessive bleeding or fluid drainage, increased swelling or redness, persistent nausea or vomiting, decreased sensation in the arm after the anesthesia has worn off, persistent headache, anesthesia injection site is inflamed, swollen, or oozing blood or fluid. To manage your pain at home, continue to use your cryotherapy cuff. Find a temperature that is cool but not uncomfortable and let it run fairly constantly for the first five to seven days. Use your pain medication as prescribed by your physician. It's important to take it before the pain becomes too severe. You should also take medication 30 to 45 minutes before doing your exercises. Do not drink alcoholic beverages while taking pain medication. It is our goal to get your pain controlled with non-narcotic pain medications as quickly as possible. For the first two weeks after surgery, you will need to be in your sling except when doing your prescribed exercises or when showering. During the initial post-operative period, you need to properly care for the surgical site. Keep it clean and do not wear tight clothing. Keep your post-operative dressing in place. Change it only as directed by your physician. It will be removed at your first post-operative visit. Since the dressing is water resistant, it is okay to shower, but replace it if it gets saturated as directed by your physician. If you have sutures or staples, they will be removed at your first post-operative visit. Many patients experience ups and downs after a major surgery such as this, so don't be discouraged if this happens to you. The first few weeks after surgery represent the most critical period in your recovery as you move toward resuming your goals.